It's one thing when you study abroad, but another to meet your husband or wife in your own country and then move to theirs permanently. We're on location here in Jerusalem with Stacey Fassberg, and welcome to Language of Business. Thank you so much. Great to be here. How did you end up in Israel? Well, I uh, started my MBA at Baruch College in New York, and there happened to be this lovely young man in the course with me who happens to be from Israel. One thing led to another. We got married less than two years later, and a year after that we moved here. And how many years ago was it that you moved over? Exactly 20 years ago now. What has happened over the past 20 years? Well, let's see. We have two boys, uh, we have two dogs, we have a bunch of fish, uh, and, uh, and I've been working and building my career. When you came over 20 years ago, were you fluent in Hebrew? I was not, and if I'm brutally honest, I will say that I'm not now, but I manage, I get by. So how do you manage to work here if you're not fluent in the language, either spoken or written? Well, my field is marketing. It's always been both in New York and here. And as you know, Israel has a lot of startups and we export actually most of our, our technology and our products. So having a background in marketing and being able to speak English is actually a huge advantage because most of the marketing work that we do is actually outside of Israel. So I found it to not be a, a disadvantage, in fact, perhaps an advantage. Over the past 20 years, have you worked for startups or established companies? Mm, good question. When I first moved here, I found myself working for a company called Converse, which was considered one of the best high-tech companies, very large offices all over the world. And I was there for eight years and loved every second of it. But since then, actually, I've been mostly focused on startups. And tell us about Acumini right now, where you are the vice president of marketing. Actually, I'm the chief marketing officer, small detail. But you know, I met Nachshon through my husband. They've known each other for years. And when I met Nachshon, I was taken by his passion, by his intelligence, but also his keen interest in building a team made up of people with different expertise. He comes more from the technology and business side. Of course, I come from the marketing side. And so we have this wonderful synergy of skill sets that we are able to work together, bounce ideas off of, and really work in partnership. And even today, we still are finding ourselves evolving and changing and, and working together, but it's wonderful. When you work in the Middle East, how much does politics enter your daily life? Ah. When we're here working by ourselves, we don't feel it too much. I will say that over the years when I've worked for Israeli companies and have had to present myself outside, um, there are some times where I've had to um, kind of back burner it. Some people hear my accent and just assume I'm working for an American company. It's not necessarily something we shout. Uh, on the other hand, we are proud and we're not hiding who we are and what we do. Israel has just over 7 million people, yet there are other markets that are far larger. What is your primary focus for Acumini? Probably the U.S. is a key market. Actually, the U.K. is probably leading in terms of GDP, in terms of crowdfunding and these kinds of activities. So I think that the U.K. is, is a prime market. The U.S. is definitely a prime market. But we're sniffing very much in China because there's enormous amounts of this kind of investment going on, as well as tremendous amounts of fraud. Are you able to control everything from Israel, or do you and Nakshan have to live on a plane? Well, not yet, because we're still kind of getting ourselves started, but we, we are not adverse to the idea of having to move around and do what we need to do. Of course, assuming that the company goes where we'd like it to go, we will have offices in different countries as well. That would be awesome. What is your advice for someone who tries to do something for study abroad, ends up living here for a few years, mm. as opposed to you who have done this permanently? <laughs> well, you know, it's an adventure. Um, I was always open to the idea of living in another place, whether it be Israel or Europe or anywhere. And even today, I'm not close to the idea of, of moving on to another place. You have to be patient. You have to be open-minded and ready to take on whatever happens. What is the primary language at home? We speak English at home because we wanted the kids to be completely fluent because they, all of my family of course is in the United States, so it would have been quite uncomfortable to have the kids not be comfortable in English. So we speak English at home, even to the dogs. Stacy, thank you. You're very welcome, thank you. Stacy Fassberg, Chief Marketing Officer of Acumini here in Jerusalem.